Oscar Pistorius was back in court Monday to hear his punishment for killing girlfriend Reva Steenkamp, and the media frenzy was no less intense than it has been since the start of trial seven months ago. Once again, several prominent news outlets carried the proceedings live. Judge Tokozile Masipa found Pistorius guilty of the equivalent of manslaughter last month, though she did acquit him of murder. The former Olympian from South Africa could face up to 15 years for that culpable homicide conviction. He argued he killed Steen camp last year by shooting through a bathroom door because he thought she was an intruder. Pistorius defense attorneys called three witnesses, with a fourth expected Tuesday. One psychologist called Pistorius a broken man since Steen camp's death. Predictably, prosecutors rejected that idea, saying Pistorius is still alive while Steen camp isn't. It looks like one prosecution strategy is hammering at the idea that if Pistorius doesn't go to prison, he could return to the track and field career that brought the double amputee international fame. Prosecutor Jerry Nell also bristled when a social worker called by Pistorius defense attorneys said he should only receive a three-year sentence, and that sentence should be carried out under house arrest instead of prison time. To even suggest three years, 276C, is shockingly inappropriate for what happened in this matter. Shockingly inappropriate. I wouldn't say that. Playing out amid the background of the actual sentence, many media outlets point to South African societal feelings of justice when it comes to race. The nation is still only two decades removed from apartheid. Anti-domestic violence campaigners were angered by Pistorius escaping a murder rap and many are saying if he walks free, it will again be confirmation there is still one justice for the wealthy whites and another for blacks in South Africa. The judge has said she expects Pistoria's sentencing hearing to wrap up within the week. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.